On the EQA, you can see access to the professional level from ECAP. This is the CSAP main screen when you can, where you can see the last entries on the CSAP blog, which is also in the internet. If we go to the EQA tab, we can see we will see different indicators. We can see the title of the indicator, the result of the indicator marked in color, depending on whether the target was achieved or not. A graph showing the evolution of those patients with unresolved issues, how many patients whose problems have been solved, the percentage of patients detected and points relating to this indicator. Before seeing where the link of the indicator or the plus sign takes you, you can see that the way the indicator is displayed can be configured. We can either see them all, which will be around 60 indicators per GP, or we can choose to see only those that are unfavorable, those that don't achieve the target, that are in red or orange. Or we can see those that have been chosen. All this can be configured. If you mark the ones you want to see and uncheck the others, you only see those you wish to see, either because you think they are relevant or because you have divided this up with a nurse. There are also options. Those allow you to choose the way you see the results and which group of indicators you want to see by default. Now we have by default the configuration of cycles, the combination of, uh, the combination of color blindness and all of the indicators. We change the options. We mark the color of the checkbox, the spring combination and the chosen ones. And every time I access the EQA screen, I will see the visualization by default. We can go to check details from each indicator by clicking the plus sign. On the indicator screen, where it is possible to check the evolution of the indicator across the calendar year and the comparison of the individual professional with the team with teams of similar socioeconomic characteristics, teams within the area, or with the whole X. We come back to the main EQA screen. If we, if we go to the link, this will take us to the list of patients with unresolved issues. Due to Due to confidentiality reasons, we will delete the identification data of the patients. We see the list of patients with unsolved issues. For example, the patients with hypothyroidism who have a tyroxine higher than 10 or those who have not had a test for more than 10 months. These are the patients that are included in a paper for performance. But we can also see those patients that are not included in the ev evaluation. The ones that are excluded, for example, those who have not been seen over the last year or those that are not included because, age for, because of age reasons. We can deactivate these patients and they disappear from the list. But we can also insert these patients as, as virtual visits to the ECAP. And if we go to the health record, we will see that the patient will, ap will have appeared on the list of virtual visits and we can check the health record. Another function related to the EQA is a clinical reminder pop-up. This is the agenda look this is how the agenda looks like. We can see that on the left of the agenda, on the list of the day's appointments, there are some numbers inside an orange square. This symbol indicates that this patient has two clinical reminders, for example. W if we need if we enter into the patient record, we will see that the two clinical reminders appear. The first saying that the patient is being prescribed anestatin 
and has a cardiovascular risk of 3.4. And the second, telling us that we must measure the blood pressure because we haven't measured it since one year.